Good morning. I'm thinking about the future today. So when thinking about the future, it's kind of hard because you're always thinking about like what to do today, like not like what to do in years from now. I've always wondered what futurists do. My boss, Nicholas Negroponte, my former boss, Nicholas Negroponte, was、um, always able to think in the future. He had、uh, what's it called, rose-colored glasses on, and so I always thought it was bizarre. Maybe because I come from、uh, no wealth. I grew up、uh, with parents who had no education.、Uh, great parents, mind you, but it was always like you know how to survive. So I think in my older years, I'm thinking like, huh. Well, let's think in the future more often. What can I learn from that period? How do I be less nowist and how to be more futurist? Well, I've been reading as much as I can about the future, even though that's kind of like、uh, contradictory because when you write a book, it like takes like, a couple of years to get out, so it's already like too late. But I really enjoyed the work of Brett King. I've been like carrying this book around; it's kind of heavy.、Um, I'm not a Kindle person, so I guess I'm not too futuristic, but I really enjoy how he frames things as incrementally doing things. It's always common to we did this,、so、let's do this a little better. That's good agile methodology. It's safe. It's less risky. Versus trying to go to first principles and kind of rethink how to do it, how to disrupt yourself. I think Steve Jobs famously invested in disrupting his own company time over time. The best companies do this, but the secret is they have money to be able to invest in that. They have extra money. They have something that I heard Apple referred to as the undo buffer, all that cash. So if something went wrong, you could whoops, command Z undo. So having that ability to kind of undo things enables you to innovate. If you don't have that room, you can't innovate. So. Making that room is the art of actually jumping into the future. So it really is about being able to operate in the now, be able to figure out what what has to get done now, and then make space, and then look to the future, figure out what that could be, and connecting the two together like a Reese's peanut butter cup, chocolate and the peanut butter together. And if you can do that, so it's not too far in the future, too wimpy, kind of in the present,、um, that jump can happen and. A big、uh, Star Wars Ewok celebration ending happens for all. So that's what I'm thinking about this morning. <music> <music>